I genuinely think this is going to be one of the most important videos that I've recorded in a very long time because there's so many people that suffer through this. You watching this video, even though you're on self-improvement, even though you do a lot of things right, still you feel like it's not enough, that you aren't enough, that you need to do more, and that you need to be better. You're always just one step behind this person that you think you'll be happy when you get there. But when you get there, it just keeps moving up and up and up, and you're never that person who is satisfied and who is happy. It's always just, I need to do better. I literally would say that to myself almost every single day. I need to do better. I need to do better tomorrow. When I look back on my journals, I would write that all the time. This isn't good enough. I'm not consistent enough. And you feel like you have to be better, even though you could right now technically be happy. But I think I boiled it down to some big things that used to hold me back and that are probably holding you back. And the first reason that you're not really at inner peace or happiness is because your behavior doesn't align with nature. There are bad habits that you do probably every single day and maybe you've been trying to get rid of that aren't aligned with how the world naturally is. Your soul, just like your body, it needs nourishment. It needs the proper nutrients so that it can be healthy. But if you have an unhealthy soul, you're not going to be stable. You're not going to be at inner peace. You're not going to have happiness. You're going to be in this constant uneasy state because you're disturbing your peace. You're disturbing your soul, your conscience. This might sound a little bit like, oh, wishy-washy. What is this guy talking about? Feeding my soul the right things. But if you think about it, the unnatural things that you do every day and the unnatural things are, for example, porn, video games, junk food. These are things that should have never really existed, but were created by humans unnaturally in the modern world. Video games, hyper-stimulating this whole different world that you're in. Should that necessarily be possible for you to be doing that all day, every single day? No, but it is. It's not natural. Should it be possible to stay inside your house all day and never see the daylight, never even get light on your skin throughout the entire day? No, not really. There's this example that I've probably given before on this channel. I remember talking about it, and it's an actual crazy sort of statistic that Mansa Musa, and if you don't know who Mansa Musa is, he was like the richest man that ever lived. He had so much land. He had so much gold. He literally caused inflation in neighboring villages by just giving them so much gold because he had so much extra. He would just fucking like hand it out to people. That's how rich he was. There's this YouTube short that I saw one time where it said that Mansa Musa, the richest man that ever lived, couldn't have seen more naked women in his entire lifetime than a 10 year old boy could in five minutes on the internet. That's wild. The richest man in the world could not have seen or even understood or fathomed what some little boy on the internet could have access to today. It's not natural what we have access to and it's not good for you. And it's constantly disturbing your inner peace. It's not really possible to be at inner peace and have this happiness and feel like satisfied with yourself when you're constantly disturbing the peace. When you are constantly doing things that aren't aligned with nature. When your behavior isn't aligned with what you truly want. It basically is impossible to be at inner peace and be happy and be still when you are constantly disturbing your peace. There's a reason you feel guilty after doing bad habits. Why are they bad habits? Because they're unnatural. Bad, unnatural, you feel guilty. The easiest one is after watching porn or after jerking off, you feel really terrible. You don't feel all happy and no, 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 you, you feel the guilt. You feel that instant shame hit you. That's for a reason. The thing that it really is, is just your body signaling to you. It's your mind, your soul, whatever, signaling to you, this is unnatural. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be able to see this. You shouldn't be able to, to have this activity where you're basically making love to yourself and looking at pixels on a screen. You literally don't have to be a genius to understand that it's not natural. And when you continue to do them over and over and over and you don't escape the cycle of instant gratification, I genuinely believe you will never be at inner peace. Now, the second reason that you aren't happy is because happiness is made impossible when you constantly put it outside of your control. Most people believe that the reason that they aren't satisfied is because of what they haven't achieved and who they are. Or maybe a better way to put it is who they aren't. People want to be this certain person. They look up to other people and they say, I wish I was them. I wish I had that life. If I had their life, I would be happy. If you had that lifestyle, if you had those traits, if you did these things, you would be at peace. And that's a complete lie that you tell yourself. You know that last goal that you told yourself would make you happy? When you achieved it, what happened? It didn't make you happy. It didn't make you feel that inner peace. You just realized that it didn't change anything. You had five seconds of celebration and then you realize, oh wait, everything is still the same. I'm still the same. Maybe that next goal will make me happy. Maybe that next achievement will make me happy. Oh yeah, this one didn't make me happy because X, Y, and Z. And so I just have to chase the next thing. It's the constant cycle of chasing, chasing, chasing. You are chasing a happiness that doesn't exist. I like to call this the if, when happiness lie, because people think, and you might think that 
if you do these things, you'll be happy. When you achieve this, you'll be happy. If you were like this person and had their lifestyle, you would be happy. And all of it is a lie. All of it isn't true. And you know this, like I said before, you've achieved things, goals that you said would make you happy and they didn't make you happy. And then you just keep going on with this narrative, with this lie where you tell yourself, oh, when I achieve the next goal, that's actually when I'll be happy. You are never going to be happy if you keep placing your happiness outside of your control. If you keep placing it within external factors, they cannot and will not make you happy. And you must realize that. And how am I so certain that this is a complete utter bullshit lie? Well, it's because there are people out there that you think to yourself, if I was them, I would be happy and my life would be amazing and I would never have to worry again and life would be so good. But in reality, those people, if you look into their mind, they're thinking to themselves, I'm not happy. I have all these achievements. I'm not happy. I need more. So the people that you look up to are thinking the same thing as you and you think becoming like them will make you happy. No, you are all in this chase for happiness that you will never find because happiness will always elude you when you place value and your, your inner peace within external factors and achievements. It will always be one step ahead of you because whenever you achieve that goal that you thought was going to make you happy, whenever you get there, you realize it doesn't make you happy. And then you set another goal. You say, oh, wait, I already achieved 10K a month. It didn't make me happy. Maybe if I get a girlfriend, maybe, wait, no, no, no. So that didn't make me happy either. So maybe if I get on this podcast, then I'll be happy. Maybe if I uh, get a hundred thousand, maybe if I hit a million subscribers, I'll be happy. Maybe it's just this constant cycle of if, and when I do this, I'll be happy, but you never actually become happy. There are also people out there in this world that you would look at and think their life is miserable. They must be miserable. They don't have any achievements. They're not blah, blah, blah. You, you make, you say all these things like, oh, they can't even be happy. How? And they're more grateful, more at peace and, and more happy than you will ever be. Well, not ever, but right now they are much more happy than you are, even though they have less. And it's because you are placing your happiness outside of your own control and they're ha placing it within themselves internally within their own control. And I heard Chris Williamson say this once, you are sacrificing happiness for the thing that was supposed to make you happy, which is success. But you realize that success doesn't actually make you happy. So you get in this loop of chasing achievements and success and chasing the validation of other people and chasing the, the happiness that you place within external factors. But success doesn't make you happy. The validation of others doesn't make you happy. Your parents finally being proud of you doesn't make you happy because happiness and inner peace, literally think about it, inner peace has to be found within yourself. It has to be found and placed within yourself or else you will never find it. It will always evade you and elude you. It will always be one step ahead of you. And if you keep going in the same way, if you keep telling yourself this if when narrative, this if when happiness lie, that if you achieve this, when you achieve this, you'll be happy, then you will never be happy. You will never be at inner peace. You will never find the peace that you want when you place it outside of yourself. It sounds very, very obvious, but you have to fully understand it and get this into your head so that you can start searching within yourself for peace and not looking out word into the world for validation from others, for achievements or anything of that sort, because that will never, ever, ever make you happy. The goals that you said would make you happy, you've already achieved and they did not make you happy. You must find peace internally and you cannot place it within external factors because then your happiness and your inner peace is outside of your control. And the third reason that you are unhappy with your life and you're not at inner peace and you're not satisfied, it's because you are choosing to be unhappy. And I know this sounds weird. Like, why would I ever choose to be unhappy? That doesn't make sense. But the truth is you sort of deep down subconsciously believe that you aren't allowed to be enough, that you can't be enough unless you achieve X, Y, or Z, that you can't be enough unless you have the validation from this person. And how this manifests is sometimes just by your own doing from your childhood, from neglect, from a many different things that can affect you in your life. You are choosing actively to say, I can't search and I can't find my happiness right now. I can't do it yet. I need to get to this point and then I can be happy. Then I'm allowed to be happy. It's similar to the if when happiness lie where you tell yourself when I achieve this, I'll be happy. But the difference is you say when I achieve this, when I do this, when I get this validation, I can be happy. I'll let myself be happy. You aren't letting yourself be happy because you believe that you can't, that you have done enough, that you haven't, that you aren't good enough, that the person that you are right now is not enough. That's the biggest one. It's that your identity, the person that you are right now, what you've achieved, not really what you've achieved, but more who you are and how you see yourself, the behavior that you do. You think I do so many bad habits. I'm not a good person. I, like you mark off all these things that are terrible about yourself and you beat yourself up and you say, you aren't good enough. You aren't good enough. You aren't good enough. So much negative self-talk that you start to believe that you literally cannot be happy right now. You aren't allowed to. You don't allow 
yourself to be happy because you believe that you need to be a different person in order to be happy. It's this never enough mindset where nothing is ever enough for you to choose and say, I'm allowed to be happy now. I'm allowed to let myself find inner peace. It's always just the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. That's when I can be happy. No, I haven't achieved enough yet. No, I haven't made enough progress yet. No, I, I, I'm not this person yet. I need to be this person so that I can be happy, so that I can allow myself to be happy. It's another hamster wheel and it goes on forever and ever and ever. And this is the very, very interesting part. Secretly, you probably think that this hatred for yourself, that this, this dissatisfaction with your life and with who you are and saying, I'm not enough and I'm not good enough. You think that that is your edge because you're thinking to yourself, I have so much drive to become better because I'm unsatisfied. And if I were to let that go, then I would lose to my competition. You're thinking that you are more driven than your competition because you hate yourself. Think about that. You aren't at inner peace and you are unsatisfied and you think that dissatisfaction is going to help you make more progress. It's not that you hate yourself enough. It's that you want the thing bad enough. But the dissatisfaction that you probably have towards yourself, towards who you are and your behavior, that is the thing that can drive you in the beginning, but doesn't last in the future. And there's a time and place for anger and for telling yourself and for being really honest with yourself and saying, this is not good. This is not up to standard. We need to do better. But there's also this, this notion that you have to say, I hate myself and, and I am and I, so unsatisfied with who I am and that that's what's going to make you better. It's not about the dissatisfaction as much as it is as it is about you wanting to change yourself, wanting the best life for yourself. Your fuel shouldn't be dissatisfaction. Your fuel should be the drive to fulfill your potential, the drive to make your life as best as possible. Isn't that just so much of a more healthy, happy, satisfying fuel than I hate myself, I'm not enough, I need to be better? It's no, I want to be better. No, I, I want the best life for myself. I want to achieve my potential. That's why I'm doing all this. And that's why I push myself so hard. If you find your fuel within that desire to achieve your potential, your life will be so much better. You will be able to fulfill your potential while also being happy with who you are. And, and being more present and not having this weird hatred toward yourself that you shouldn't have. It will be so much more fulfilling, I promise. So there are my three reasons for why you aren't at inner peace. And quickly, I want to talk about how do we actually turn this around and start to find our inner peace within ourselves? How do you become happy? Well, just going back through those reasons, the first thing that you have to do is obviously get rid of the bad habits. Get away from instant gratification. The further away that you get from instant gratification, the more at inner peace you'll be. Because the unnatural things that are disturbing your peace will be gone and you will be able to, if you search for it and if you actively try to find it, constantly be at inner peace. And every time you wake up, you'll be able to look at yourself and say, I'm proud, I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, and I'm glad that we are doing this and we keep pushing forward because this is what I want for myself and I want to be better and I want to achieve my potential. If you can do that and just like look yourself in the mirror and say those things, then you've probably found your inner peace. And I'm able to say that wholeheartedly now, and I fully believe it. The second thing is to place happiness within your own control. And how do you do that? Well, if you want happiness within your own control, you have to start looking for it there. You have to stop placing it within external factors. You have to stop placing it within things that you cannot control. And then you'll be able to find it within yourself. Because if you think to yourself, if I achieve this goal, then I'll be happy. It's just a complete lie. And once you realize that it's a lie and you start thinking to yourself, how can I be happy with who I am right now? How can I be at peace with who I am right now? You start to become a lot more grateful and think I, I have done this and I have done that. And I do have this in my life and I've done amazing things. And maybe I don't need the validation from this person. And maybe I don't need to get to this point in my life to be happy. And that's the third thing. You realizing that you don't need to be a certain person. You don't need to, to to have this achievement to allow yourself to be happy. You can be happy right now. You have to get that into your head. You can be happy right now. And it's funny because right now you are the happiest you ever can be. And I'm not talking about happy as in the terms of like, oh, I feel happy. It's the happiness and peace knowing that you are, are happy with where you are and where you are going. You're happy with who you are and where you are going. And sometimes it's very, very difficult to be happy with who you are, I know, especially in the beginning of your journey where you're thinking, I'm doing all these bad habits and blah, blah, blah. And I understand that. As time goes on, I really, really want you to start working on understanding that you can be happy right now and you should be happy right now. And you should be really actively trying to find that inner peace. Whenever you have that negative self-talk and all that bullshit, you have to go back to realizing that, hey, look what I'm doing. I'm doing a lot right now. I'm on self-improvement. I'm not just who I was before. I'm changing. I'm becoming better. And that's fucking amazing. That is so amazing. And I'm grateful for that. A lot of things just wrap back around to gratitude and choosing right now to say, 
I am enough. I can be enough. And it's my responsibility to keep going. And it's not because I hate myself. It's because I want to achieve my potential. I want to do great things. It's all a shift of mindset because it all is in your head. Changing these beliefs that you have that you are going to find happiness outside of yourself, which is not true. It's realizing that you have to search within yourself, getting rid of the bad habits. And then once you do those things, you have to choose to be happy. You have to choose to find your inner peace. You have to choose to let yourself be happy. You just have to let go of that notion that you aren't allowed yet, that you aren't good enough yet, that you need to do better. It's a very delicate balance. It's not easy. I'm not telling you any of this is easy. And I never said it would be easy. It's going to be difficult, but it's going to be worth it. And I know that balancing wanting more with feeling enough is such an insanely difficult thing, but you have to work on it and you have to try or else you will always be in the deficit of I'm not enough. I need to do more. I need to achieve more. I need to keep going because I'm not enough. It needs to be, I am enough, but I want more. I am enough, but I want more. And that's that's not an easy thing. And, and you might be saying that's not even possible, but you have to try. You have to try to get there because life is so much better when you start figuring out the balance. And one last thing I want to talk about is something that I was kind of talking about with my brother, where he was saying he felt like he has this sort of maybe anxiety sometimes. And I kind of relate to that where it's like, weirdly, you just have these negative feelings and negative thoughts. And, and you think, what if this bad thing happened? Happens. And again, it's all in your head. And I want to talk about that negative voice in your head because so many people have built it up over lifetimes, over a very, very long time. And it could be because of your childhood. It could be because of things that have happened to you. It's your parents telling you that, you, you know, you're not enough unless you do things right. It's you telling yourself, I'm not enough unless I do things right. And it builds this negative voice inside your head that says, you aren't enough. You aren't enough. You need to do better. You need to do better. And if you want to break this voice that constantly beats you down and says, look, look what you did. You you, you barely even performed well on this. Nothing good came out of this. Why was your work so shit? Like this voice inside your head is you and it fucking despises you for some reason. It's you, but it also is this voice that you've just created. You can create more voices. David Goggins will talk about this. Other people will talk about this. And when I heard it, I realized we have built a negative voice inside our head and we perceive ourselves that that's who we are. We're just so negative about ourselves. We just say we hate ourselves. We were, you know, we aren't enough. We tell ourselves the bullshit story that we aren't enough. And it's like, Yes, we are. You have to build up that voice. This voice is saying, I hate you. It's like in those, in the cartoons, the, the devil versus the, the angel on the shoulder. You know, it's like in Tom and Jerry when like there's the devil saying, no, do the bad thing. Do the bad thing. You're not, you're, you're so terrible. You're not enough. And the angel's like, whoa, chill, chill, chill. No, you, you can do the good thing. You, you can, you can be happy. It's so interesting how we've built up the devil voice in our head, the, the, the terrible voice that says you are never enough. You're terrible. You need to start building up the voice that says you are enough. You need to start searching for the voice and building the voice and making this voice so much stronger than the negative one and basically get to a point where the positive voice, the voice that's, that tells you, no, you are at peace. No, you are enough. is so much louder than this one, that this one basically doesn't exist, that this becomes your new voice because this technically is you, but it also isn't you because you've built this up as yourself and you just need to build up a new identity. So much of life comes back to your inner voice, your identity, what you tell yourself, the story that you tell yourself. You have so much negative self-talk that you start to believe the negative self-talk. You need to start building up the positive self-talk and a little actionable thing I can give you is whenever something negative in your mind, whenever your mind says something negative about you, about something you did, you just instantly bounce back by saying something positive about yourself. It's such a small thing, but I think it can help many, many people. You need to start building that inner voice. You need to get away from instant gratification. You need to douse that, that negative voice inside your head that you've built up for so long from trauma, from all these bad things that have happened to you. And you need to start looking for your inner peace within yourself, not within other things, not within other people's validation. Look for your peace within you and you will find find it when you choose to. You will find inner peace and happiness when you choose to find it, when you choose to let yourself be happy. Your life would be so much easier and so much better if you just chose to let yourself be happy. And I hope I gave you the reasons there. I hope this video helped you. If it did, scroll down, subscribe, genuinely think about it. If you want to see more of me, the YouTube page will show you more of me if you subscribe. So if you really do want that, go subscribe. If you want this message to be seen by other people, other teenagers that are just like you, then like this video as well. I really, really appreciate it. It means the world to me. I also have a free online community. If you want to be a part of that community, then scroll down. It's top link in the description. Join. I hope to see you there. And as always, never stop improving. You'll be grateful for it later.